I've been what? doing Vikram yoga and watching and catching up on Game of Thrones. That's what I've been doing. You ready doing, for Saturday or Sunday? I, I'm ready for this, this Sunday also as well. But, um, you know, I was watching the game from afar and I mm -hmm. uh, had some time on to spend with my family. And, um, you know, I did a lot of soul searching, man. And, and what I found out during my time off is that I really have a passion for this game and I love it. And uh, being a Washington Wizard, now I get to show the fans how much I do love it and appreciate this game and my teammates. Yeah, it seemed like like your first couple of games, I don't know if you were just trying to get acclimated. It seemed like you struggled a little bit. Then you just hit a switch. I think the Utah yeah. game, you kind of played well. Yeah. And since then, you've just kind of, you know, the Nets game, obviously. But since then, you've been able to, yeah. you're, you're playing with a swagger and a confidence that, you know, you didn't show at the beginning. Where, what, what well, clicked I, with you, I guess, I, you know? I feel like the first two games, I really didn't have the opportunity as I did, mm -hmm. you know, uh, playing uh you know within about five games into the into my contract but uh you know the first two games i just wanted to see what the team needed kind of get familiar with the offense so it, it wouldn't happen overnight but uh to come in my third game fourth game fifth grand game and start to put a string of good games together i mean that was just a natural transition to anybody playing any sport and just getting acclimated to what the team was running offensively and defensively so this workout regimen i know soul search and yoga i mean what type of what do you like just did you just stay away from basketball? Would you uh, play basketball I, put a lot of, a while, I did not play. You? I did not play. I yeah. did a lot of, I mean, it's kind of hard to emulate. Keep your body kind of well, maybe? Well, you know what? I, I, I picked up Bikram yoga, which is hot yoga. And uh, I was doing that three to four times a week, really getting the heart rate up. Um, I put up a lot of shots. I did a lot of shooting. Uh, a lot of teams needed stretch fours. And I was more considered a power forward. But, uh, you know, I had to develop my game. I had to re reinvent myself. And that's what I did. So when you were signed, when you were signed here recently, fans, the initial reaction, the Wizards uh -huh. fans, do, would you, what do you think it would be? <laughs> I mean, from the, the, the time I, I, I played in Cleveland and, and yeah. all, the, all, the, all the antics and all the, the passion <laughs> that I had then. Soldier uh, Boy, the Jay-Z, the Sean, I mean, all, all that, that stuff. All right. And then coming here, Remember? and coming here after, uh, you know, the, the one season that was kind of a mess over here and, and uh, not really wanting to be here. You know, I kind of thought that the, the fans uh, definitely uh, still had a chip on their shoulder about that. But now that I'm on the team, I think uh, the fans know what I bring to teams. And this is why the other teams hate us now. Yeah. They hate me because uh, of what I do to help the Washington Wizards. Now, we remember, see, we remember, you know, the, the Cavs days. But there's also when you were traded and there was a picture of you and Antoine driving away. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Like, it was in the paper and stuff. Do you, what, what happened there? Do you, do you, hey, man, what? honestly, uh, I mean, when I got traded here, of course, the Wizards took care of me and drove me in and put me up in a hotel. And then when I got traded out of here, I really had was, was kind of stuck and I was kind of stranded. So I just asked Antoine for a ride from the arena because I, the Washington Wizards damn sure wasn't going to pay for it. <laughs> and then did you saw the picture of the picture? Like, I didn't know. I was out of here to L.A. You know, yeah. I didn't even, it was, you know, it was gone in the wind by then. But uh, it's funny how things come full circle and, uh, you know, how we, uh, kind of, you know, sewed that up, stitched that up, so let's don't open up old wounds. Yeah, 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 not at all. <laughs> like, no, and the thing is, like, you know, the fans, you know, have a reaction. Fans are emotional, you know, yeah. unfortunately as well. Rationality yeah. doesn't really come into play. Yeah. But the fact is, like, you know, they see you play hard and play yeah. well, and they, there has been a, a warming up to Have yeah. you seen that on the court? You know, especially with the people really missed when Boogie Cousins wouldn't let you do the, the uh -huh. move the other day, and yeah. you were, like, stop and do it. And fans were like, no, screw Boogie Cousins. Yeah, like, well, yeah, you keep yeah, doing yeah, it. Nah. I saw you do it the other day, too. Yeah, like, um... It just comes with the game, you know. I think that's what the NBA is missing. I think when I was coming up watching the NBA, there was a lot of trash talking out there, a lot of hard fouls, and now it's kind of like uh, you got to play with your hands behind your back and mouth shut. So when something that small makes the news, I mean, uh, I think the NBA needs it.